All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So this is going to be a goofy title. And what I'm going to call it is, if you're pissed or depressed, go work out. Now you're going to be thinking I'm nuts right now, right? And if you don't work out, you're like, well, I'm out on this podcast. But if this goes for anybody, if you work out or in the past you've worked out or you've never worked out, I think people underestimate the power of fitness or just some type of health. That doesn't mean you have to be extreme. And I think, again, I discuss this all the time when people think health, wellness, fitness, exercise, the gym. People think, oh my God, I got to do that four or five times a week. I have to go sweat my ass off. I have to deal with soreness. I have to deal with crowds. I have to compete with everyone. Everyone's looking at me. Um, I got to lose weight. I got to get jacked. Uh, I don't like the way I look. It goes on forever. Forget all the bullshit. I'm telling you right now, I don't give a shit if you're a pro athlete or in uh, someone who's never worked out regarding this podcast. But I'll tell you the one thing I think that's gotten me through throughout my life more than anything is just being able to escape. <clears throat> Now, a lot of times people underestimate the power of escaping through fitness. Again, if you get aggravated and you love to surf, go surf. I don't care if you roller skated as a teenager and you had problems at home and you'd go roller skate and it was a release or an escape, go back to doing it. I'm just telling you, if you liked riding a bike as a kid, that doesn't mean you have to go out and get, become a professional cyclist. You may just consider getting a bike and taking it to the beach or just driving or riding your bike around locally. You know, if you look back at a lot of our childhood, at least mine, a lot of my escapism, if that's, I think that's a word, was athletics. And it was a great place to just go and kind of release a lot of tests uh, and release a lot of stress. And if I was down in the dumps, it was just a place I could go and excel. Now, I know a lot of people out there that aren't athletes are thinking, well, I didn't excel. I actually got picked last, got the shit kicked out of me. I'm not very coordinated. I get it. I understand that completely. But I could assure you there's things out there you can do to help your health. But I am going to tell you, I see so many people that I talk to that are kind of depressed or miserable, mad about them being themselves being overweight, kind of mad that they're lazy, kind of stressed out about their eating habits um, and they don't know where to turn a lot of times and I get it but I tell them a lot of times find things you love to do that are going to help your body and your mind again you don't have to become a health nut or work out all the time but I do think doing some type of physical activity it becomes very stimulating I think your body also starts responding differently it takes time though. And if you start getting your body into better shape, I can assure you, your mind just starts to work differently. And you start to feel different about yourself. I think I'm going to do a podcast on, you know, a lot of beginners that work out or people that work out in general. I just had this discussion last night with my friends, how they're very hot and cold with fitness working out. We discuss this all the time where they're great. They'll go four or five times a week and then they'll take three months off. Or they'll go for a week straight, take a month off, right? Uh, kind of extreme. They're not like the, I go one day, I'm off a day, go two days, I'm off two days, then I'm back two days. No, it seems like it's, for a lot of people, it's extreme. And I told one of my close buddies, I said, you just have to look at it like this. Don't go three days without working out. Just for starters. When things start to go south. So if you're in a great routine working out, and it happens to a lot of people, they, they get some really good results, they work out for a few months, then it starts to go south. I don't know if it's because summer comes around, I don't know if because their kids are starting to play baseball, so they have to coach, or I don't, you know, you may take on a, a different job, you may start working around the house. I don't know what your situation is. But I told him, when you start to see you kind of leaning, and leaning away from working out, because a lot of people have that habit. Certain times of the year they'll work out, certain times they won't right? Certain times of the month they'll work out, certain times they won't. You know, all these different kind of mental rules or the way they feel or if they're dating, they won't work out or uh, if they're in a new relationship, they work out. If they're not in a relationship, they're always working out. All this weird shit. But back to the three-day rule. If you find yourself slipping away from 
you know, fitness or working out, don't go more than three days without working out. Force yourself. And, you know, I, I don't like to say force yourself, but I'm telling you, you could do it in three days. So if you miss the first day, mm, second day, oh my goodness, the third day, you should be able to make it. In three days, you should be able to make it. And if you go once every three days, you're at about, you know, two times a week, which isn't the best by any means, but it kind of still gets you going. It doesn't, you know, you don't just bow out and kind of disappear. Because I think a lot of frustration comes in the results. People start getting results and then they think they're going to either keep the results and they dip out. And then when they come back, they realize they've lost a lot or they're gaining weight or uh, they lose their cardio, whatever the case may be. And it's kind of like that, you know, up and down bullshit. And it's very frustrating at times. And a lot of times we don't even know why we're doing what we're doing. Why do we work out really hard at some times? Maybe you're feeling insecure again. Uh, and then other times, why are you not working out at all? I don't, or did I flip that? Who the hell knows? Sometimes when you do these podcasts, you kind of lose track. But, you know, the reason, again, I'm going, I'm going to wrap it up with this, uh, is if you, you find yourself depressed a lot, and I know a lot of times you'll be like, the last thing I want to do is go work out. The last thing I want to do is go, you know, go sweat my ass off, go to a gym. I don't care what it is. Jump on a bike, run, because you're depressed. You know, that is the time to go do it. I'm just telling you, and you will be shocked if you push through that depression, especially when aggravated. I used to take out all my anger in the gym. But if you're going to box, say, or maybe jujitsu or something in that nature, when you get to the gym, be cool. Don't think you're going to be able to take your anger out on other people. That's not fair. Not only that, you most likely will get your ass kicked and bad. So there's a difference, I believe, in saying, I want to you know, release this anger or stress in a gym and then ending up in a position where you end up getting hurt and also injuring yourself. Because sometimes I think when we're pissed off or stressed, we want to you know, push ourselves very hard because we're aggravated. Or we want certain results, and that's kind of where injuries come into play at least in my opinion. So even though you may be depressed, stressed, or mad, you still have to keep a level head on what you're doing at all times. So yeah, definitely keep that in mind. If you got any questions or comments, let me know. And a lot of times too, when I have people I know that are really pissed off a lot of times and they look at me sideways, like it could be at work if I'm traveling or a deal does it go down or this or something goes wrong, even with my girlfriend or whoever, They'll just want to like uh, mope. They'll just say, hey man, let's just go eat or let's just go have a cup of coffee and just sit there or just like kind of separate going to their hotel room or not want to talk or whatever. And I, the first thing I said, I'm going to the gym. They're like, are you nuts, man? We just lost this deal or this didn't work out or or even a, a, a bad day of traveling. Oh my God, everybody was like, how the hell, uh, you know, after a bad day of traveling, the last thing most people want to do is go work out. I'm like, even if I'm at the hotel, I'm, I'm going to go work out. Because I'm going to tell you, I took something bad and I turned it into something good for me that day. Even if I'm depressed, and usually you're depressed because you didn't get your way or something didn't go your way, right? At least when I did something then physical or it could be even walking in the city, I knew I did something healthy for my body. That that day, I didn't lose that day to misery. And I think a lot of us lose so many days, weeks, months to misery. And a lot of it, I think, is because we're spoiled little bitches, Just because we don't always get our way and we're depressed or we're stressed or we're mad about something, boo-hoo for you. I'm just telling you, there's billions of people out there that that don't get their way at all, ever. You know, a lot of other countries, I think in North America, I can mainly speak for the United States, we're kind of boo-hooing a lot. Get off your ass. Go do something. I'm just telling you. Make something, you know, in some days I get it. You won't want to do anything because you hit the wall. But a lot of your boo-hoo fest or you being mad about something because you didn't get what you wanted or it didn't go your way or somebody did some shit to you, you know, it doesn't mean that you got to constantly be emotionally taking a toll on yourself. I don't think that's fair to your body, your mind, or others. Because I think a lot of times, too, when we get all emotional and pissed and boo-hoo and depressed, you don't realize the impact it has on other people's lives that you're around. Now, you may not care. But I think a lot of us do care because we see when other people do that to us, then we're like, God, what's their problem? They're always miserable. They're always angry. They're always this. But then when it comes to you, you're kind of like you're giving yourself the pass. So just something to definitely think about. Uh, 
you know, your health, I talk about it all the time. If you're neglecting it, it's got to be first, man. It's got to be first. I don't care what you tell me. You could be a billionaire. And if you can't get out of bed or you can't do anything, um, what's it for? So, all right, take care and I wish you nothing but the best.